Hi, this is a continuation of our previous video which was on garlic and today we will deal a bit more into that and today's aim is we want just the active principles of garlic, we do not want uh, the garlic as a whole because we know that garlic is Vadakapa Shamana, it is good for cardiovascular health but at the same time it can aggravate Pitta and Rakta in the body. So it cannot be used for uh, persons who have uh, afflictions because of this uh, imbalance of uh, Pitta or Rakta Dosha or if they are of Pitta Prakriti. So what are we going to do? We want just the active principle, we do not want the full garlic. Full garlic, it is of Ushnaviriya. We do not want that quality. We want only the active principle. And uh, so that, so our aim is to find out a medium for that. And Ayurvedic scientists, they have found that out long back. And the only thing is we have to just understand it. And uh, it is nothing but the milk. Milk is a coolant which is uh, capable of uh, absorbing all uh, water soluble as well as fat soluble uh, principles present in a drug. So, they have chosen milk as a medium uh, to obtain the active principles of uh, garlic. And the question arises uh, like uh, fat soluble, water soluble, all principles can be absorbed by milk. But what about the main constraints of garlic, the, the important constraints uh, which uh, aid in this cardiovascular health and other benefits of garlic? We are talking about the sulfur compounds present in garlic. The main uh, active principles uh, in uh, garlic are the sulfur compounds. We said that uh, there are uh, 33 or more uh, sulfur compounds like uh, allicin, adjoin, polysulfides and all. So we want only that. And uh, how are we going to do that? We have a procedure it, in Ayurveda. It is called Lashunak Shira. Lashuna means garlic, Shira means milk. And uh, the how to carry it out? It is if we grab if we take 10 grams of uh, lashuna, for example, we have to add 80 ml of water and 80 ml of um, milk, and then allow this to boil. And uh, after boiling, uh, like uh, after the slight cooling, like when it is lukewarm, we'll have to sieve it uh, into another vessel so that we can discard the garlic. We have obtained the final. Um, elements present in garlic and we have transferred it successfully to milk into milk so and uh, is there any basis for this like how sure are we that we have transferred the uh, principles into milk for that we have to um, like go back to a purificatory process that of uh, sulfur so it is said that um, like we have to make use of milk and uh, Sulfur uh, is taken in an iron vessel with uh, the prescribed quantity of uh, ghee and then it is uh, allowed to, it is subjected to heating and uh, at its melting point which is about 115 degrees centigrade. When it melts, we have to transfer this into a vessel that contains uh, milk through a cloth. Like uh, and the process has to be repeated for uh, several times like seven times and until we get uh, sulfur that is devoid of its smell. So impure sulfur has that uh, characteristic smell and the pure sulfur after this purificatory process is completely devoid of the smell of sulfur. That means some principles have been transferred into milk and we are discarding this milk we are not using it. And the aim of this procedure is to make sulfur pure because we are using the entire sulfur. And we just want to get rid of that unwanted things into a milk, into a medium like milk and we are discarding the milk. But if we take that same principle into account in this situation in our Lashunak Shira, what we are aiming at is uh, we want the active principles to be transferred into milk and we, so that we can use that milk. So from both these it is quite evident that um, milk is capable of uh, drawing the some principles from uh, sulfur and uh, so the words for that is sadhayet shuddha shushkasya leshunasya chatush palam shirodage ashta gunide shira shesham cha pajayet vada gulma udavarta gridrasi vishma jwaram hridrogam vidradim shosham cha sadhayet yashu tatpayaha tatpayaha means this uh, milk 
So did we say that after boiling, cooling, we have to boil it to a point uh, that uh, it is reduced to the quantity of 80 ml, quantity of milk. So that is essential. I don't know whether I said it or not. So, Sadhya Shuddha Shushkas here, we take a purified, uh, that a good uh, la, uh, lashuna or garlic, we remove its uh, outer covering and all and then uh, we subject it to heating, boiling and then uh, we'll get this final uh, lashuna shira. That is, uh, we are not using garlic, we are just using the active principles in garlic. And uh, the benefits of this, uh, we can use this for a couple of conditions like uh, many conditions like uh, Vada Gulma. Correct correlation for that according to modern terminology is difficult. It is, uh, it has the symptoms of abdominal bloating or um, sometimes like a subtle tumor. Then Udavarta is uh, the upward movement of air because of a pressure like constipation pushing the air upwards. Vada Gulma Udavarta Gridrasi is a sciatica and other lumbosacral manifestations, a rheumatological uh, manifestation along with nerve involvement. Then uh, Vada Gulma Udavarta Gridrasi Vishamajwara. Vishamajwara is chronic intermittent fever. Then there is Hridroga, that is a cardiac ailment. Then uh, Vidradi, which is abscess, and uh, Shosha, it is uh, atrophy. So, this is just an educational video, and uh, if you have any of these conditions, uh, please don't uh, try to like uh, have uh, self-medication it's uh, not good and uh, like consult an Ayurvedic physician and then uh, follow that advice. So this is about Lashuna Kshira. We got the active principles of uh, Lashuna in uh, Kshira that is milk and we do not want the entire Lashuna or its other properties. We just want this property. So that is it. Thank you.